hello everyone welcome again to this youtube channel uh, so we have got a great update on ybm so there's a youtube interview of jason huggins on ybm he's breaking down the whole project that how actually ybm is going to work so in this video we are going to show you how exactly a uh, ybm is going to work uh, so let's get started uh, so here are the core points uh, that were discussed in uh, that video so the first point is uh, Jason Huggins uh, described YVM as an uh, Selenium for AI testing. Uh, so he said this is a new project will from scratch leveraging a WebDriver BiDi spec and AI. So if you ever haven't heard about a WebDriver BiDi, so you have to check it out on Google. So basically YVM implements WebDriver BiDi protocol, uh, which is a modernized way to communicate with browsers using WebSockets instead of the older flaky HTTP based Selenium WebDriver protocol. So if you see here the second point that unlike Selenium, which relies on older REST based communication protocols, YBM implements WebDriver by die. Okay, so these two points I have already covered. So the third point is YBM's hybrid approach. And the fourth point is YBM's fallback to AI. So I'm going to cover these two points together. So if you see here uh, that YBM still use traditional protocol for steep speed and determinism. So it is going to call AI when stuck or uncertain. So let me let me give you an example. So whenever a script is going to fail, for example, you are not able to click on element, you are not able to find any element. The test is not going to die. As in, in, in traditional way, it, uh, whenever we are uh, come across these type of uh, scenarios, uh, test used to simply get die, right? But here, instead of failing, AI is going to consult model map of the application to find the another valid way or another alternative way to achieve the same goal, okay? So essentially, this is called as an, a model-based testing. So the three points is YBM's hybrid approach, YBM's fallback to AI, and YBM's dynamic rerouting. So whenever traditional script is going to fail, it is going to look for the AI, which is going to look for the model map of the application and is going to find the alternate route uh, to achieve the goal. Okay, so these are the five core points that were discussed in that video. So next slide, I'm going to cover about model based testing, what exactly it is. So let's go to next slide. So in this slide, we're going to talk about what exactly model based testing is. So Jason Huggins revives the academic concept of model based testing by automating the creation of application maps from the real user interactions. So here, if we talk about the first point, what exactly the model map is. So think it as an GPS graph of your entire website. It means the nodes as in pages and edges as an action. So model map is equal to GPS graph of your entire website. Okay, the second second point is map is essential for AI guided automation. Similar to how self driving cars need maps and street views to navigate effectively. So here, what exactly Jason Huggins want to clarify that if you want to use AI, if you want to use model based testing, so you need to have the map of the application. It same as we have self driving cars, which are, which requires maps and street views to navigate through. So that is the second point. So the third point is model based testing. If you talk about it, it is very tedious. It is very manual testing but YBM is going to revive it, going to automatically generate the model maps by collecting the real time user interactions, which we call it as an instrument instrumentation of the application. Okay, the fourth point is, okay, you think YBM as an self-driving car for the web apps? So now the app is mapped. Now YBM is going to navigate through that map. If it is going to stuck at some flow, then it is going to look for the alternate way. So for example, the test says that can users buy stuff? And if in that way it is getting blocked, so it is going to find the alternate route 
uh, to go through that workflow. So this is the fourth point. So these all fourth point covers the model based testing. Okay, so I think uh, I have already clarified all four points with an example. So let's talk about the additional details in the next slide. So first point is YVMA is going to be open source, same like uh, Selenium. Uh, it is uh, not going to have any hidden or gated magic. Okay, so the second point is it will include an open premise reference implementation, uh, similar to how uh, Selenium Grid works how it operates independently of crowd providers. Okay, and the third point is, uh, which is uh, Jason Huggins uh, referred that YBM is my web driver by die spec awareness campaign. So this is, uh, he said it in the starting of the video. So I hope you liked the video uh, about uh, this YBM uh, project. Uh, if I come across any new detail, so I'm going to make a new video on this. So I hope you like the video. Thank you very much for watching this.